<laughs> I've got to trench for the electric to my septic system. I have to dig trenches to two risers. My electrician and my septic system guy will start work pretty soon. I want to thank Stephen Watkins for his latest generous donation. Thank you, sir. Here's my first trench to my pump tank. Here's a quick look inside. This is the second spot I have to go to. This is the aerator chamber. I've taken the aerator out since it's broken. It's already got a resident here. That spider there, I'm not sure if he's dangerous. He's just chilling like a villain. All right, my trenching is done. Can't really go any deeper since I've already hit the tanks. And I realize now that there are two tanks. You can hear that I scratch along the concrete there and then nothing. And then from the other side, I've got concrete, and then the void in between the two. I decide to pour a small concrete pad in front. I want to seed the top with these stones, so first I give them a thorough washing. When doing concrete, I like to measure out my water in gallons. I was taught that after mixing, if it holds up when sliced down the middle, then it's good to go. After seeding very heavily, then I gently work them down just a little bit. I kind of invent my own technique as I go along. Just whatever feels right, that's what I go with. This shouldn't be rocket science. I give it all some time to dry and then give it a gentle hosing down. In the meantime, I get a delivery of another five yards of screened topsoil. It's two days later, and voila, concrete pad. My electrician starts today. We move the service panel from the temporary to the house. And I've got the panel on the inside as well. Okay, stupid mistake. I noticed on my plan that the pad in front has to be 4x4, four four, not 4x2. Four 
So like magic, I pour an extension onto my existing pad. I've also got rebar and everything else in there, so should be good to go. What I've been learning is that when you're under time and money constraints for something like a home building project, there is no such thing as perfect. You just handle things as you go along. I'm learning that I need to adjust my thinking rather than fight against the tide of things that don't always go my way. Next, I need to pour an 8x4 pad in the back. Got a lot more fooling around to do.